Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a reading for water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So yes, let's start. All that I need to know. Weekly love reading, individual, collective, and then we move to your person. Okay. So we have straightforward cards here that you are not feeling good. You feel caught up. You feel messed up at this current moment. And you're overthinking. It's like you're blocked by your own overthinking. Nothing in physical is blocking you. It's just your mental state of mind that is blocking you, that is limiting you. Okay. Top card in form of challenge is four of phones. Some of you guys could overly be questioning yourself about your future of your relationship. Some of you even marriage is marriage even possible for me? Will my person ever give in? Will it ever move towards stability? So those could be your questions. In the past, we have five of phones. Even in the past, you, you were not quite happy. Okay, things were not quite going good for you. Uh, your, your person was giving you a hard time. Work situation was complicated. There was a lot of uh, competition going on at your workspace. And a lot of people were trying to have your attention, but none of which you could trust on. Okay, in terms of your best case scenario, we, the death card here, you definitely have a lot of changes coming in. Okay, I majorly feel like the cycle or uh, that you were part of or the chapter that you were part of is finally getting to an end so you will be free from this state okay in terms of why do we have the eight of swords for you as your overall energy with nine of cups you are thinking about wish fulfillment you're thinking about your emotional happiness you're thinking about your relationship all think about your goals at this current time you know but that is because things are quite messed up right now you are questioning whether it's even going to be possible for you okay moving on to four of wands being your challenge four of wands being your challenge we have eight of cups i think most of you guys are part of a relationship or connection that is not going anywhere so if you guys want to get rid of your marriage which is not working uh, you've been having a hard time going back and forth but i believe the overall energy will be to break free okay in terms of five of wands being your past energy with ten of wands many of you guys were trying to keep things together but you were not able to okay you tried hard to balance your life you know even if your work life was quite draining even your emotional life was messed up you were trying to keep it all together but you were not able to okay in form of death card being the best case scenario what does it speak about with two of one just like i told you you're ending a cycle in order to move on to a better life okay in terms of going into the near future what do we have for you with six of cups i think most of you guys do not feel good okay you're kind of bored with the repetitive cycles things going in a certain way you're not getting that positive outcome some of you guys have also lost that touch with your inner child you live your life remembering the good old days but nothing crazy is going on in your present for some of you even if the person returns you guys won't be able to make a decision because there's lack of trust with ace of cups i believe most of you guys will move on to a new relationship okay the past person will still be on and off but the new person seems quite ready and open if you guys haven't met them yet you guys will meet in the next six weeks okay so yes in terms of how do you see yourself at this current moment the fool card most of you guys want to take that risk and move in a new direction altogether but you're not able to but you want to you feel you're uh, you're capable of doing that you want to take that risk you want to take that leap of faith and you will do it in a span of nine to ten days okay in terms of your emotions right now Right now at Four of Pentacles, you're not very expressive. You're holding back. You're quite controlled with what you say, how you say, how you react. Okay. In terms of what's coming your way. What's coming your way is a relationship, is a emotional fulfilling uh, relationship. Okay. This can come in in a span of one month or one and a half month. But yes. Okay, with Knight of Pentacles, I don't think it has arrived yet. I don't think you've met the person yet for most of you. If, even if you met them, you haven't gotten to know them on a very deep level. What else do we see? 
yeah with queen of pentacles it does speak about stability if it's not marriage that you're waiting on then you let at least have that peace of mind that stability some of you guys who've been distant from your family your kids your 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 parents your siblings you guys are going to meet them in the next one month or one and a half month and you guys are very excited about it so yes in terms of what is this coming in the tower in the reverse i believe a past chapter is also going to come to light someone who did you wrong you're you're going to see their real face you're going to see the real person okay and that might shock you you might not want to believe but you know you, like universe wants to bring the truth so that he or she can set you free okay so yes in terms of near outcome near outcome we have seven of cups so i think you're moving towards options now I don't think you want to stay focused on this one person that is giving you the anxiety. You're definitely going to do the work and move on. Okay. In terms of what do we see getting in the way so far? With judgment card, you're, you're, you're waiting on someone's decision. You're waiting on someone to make that move. And that waiting has caused you all this pain and sorrow. Okay. So this is the collective energy. Now moving on to individual signs. Moving on to Scorpio now, what's coming your way, overall energy. This King of Pentacles, you're focused on your stability. At this time, you guys could be just working on your finances, just working on your goals. Okay, you're just taking it one day at a time. You're just focusing on one goal at a time. And I feel uh, you're very confident at this time, some of you. You guys are quite doing well financially. You've saved a good amount of money for yourself, for your future. Okay, moving on to Challenge. Challenge with Queen of Cups is to open your heart, is to keep yourself open to another connection or just the past person who's been on and off, okay? In the form of the past energy. Past energy, we are getting two of wands. I think you were quite at crossroads in the past, but best case scenario moving forward. Yeah. Hi, Priestess. I do not see you taking action. I do not see you getting ready for a relationship. Moreover, you just want to stay by yourself. You're quite enjoying your own company. I think you have options, but you're going to choose to just stay distant. Okay. In terms of going in the near future, what do we see for you? The Fool card. Overall, I do see you taking that leap of faith in a new direction, but you'll take your own sweet time. That's what I feel. Okay. In terms of what's coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles, if you guys are waiting on a new job, a new opportunity, uh, maybe even a career shift, that's going to be quite possible. If you've been working really hard, you're going to be getting the rewards. I see big money coming in. Okay, so lots of financial gains in terms of what else do we see? A new opportunity coming in your, your way after a, a brutal ending. Okay, with the death card, you're immediately going to change your life for the better. Okay, how do you see yourself right now? With Queen of Swords, you see yourself as someone who's practical, someone who's balanced, someone who's doing the right thing by not uh, quite giving uh, people chances, not quite taking the unnecessary risk. You're just being practical and balanced. Okay, you're just wanting to accept the reality and just be honest and real with yourself and with your actions. Okay, in terms of your current emotions. The current emotions of the strength card you're quite sorted quite balanced quite at peace with your life okay and, and i see you very confident yes you might not be taking the risk but it's not like you're not taking the risk it's like you just want to take more time okay in terms of the outcome in terms of outcome we have wheel of fortune so i definitely see you moving on to your next cycle okay but i think it's going to come in the next 10 days for most of you around the 30th or 31st of the month i think most of you guys will be ready to move on to your next chapter i definitely see a shift in your energy if you guys been feeling a little stagnant lately and that shift is going to bring in that uh, good energy okay thinking about your person now what's happening nine of swords this person is stressed out they are losing sleep over you okay what's getting in the way with Son of Pentacles, this person never felt good enough. Okay, they had self worth issues, major uh, fears of uh, not being good enough for you, or not being uh, someone who will be able to provide, or not someone who you will love forever. 
so it's 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 them who's been having the issues okay in terms of what do they want with you now at four of wands they still want to be with you they still want this relationship with you and with eight of swords yes they are fearful that you might reject them or you might not want them because they see you as someone who is successful confident moving about life whereas they are still sticking in this uh, sad you know distorted energy okay in terms of their current feelings current feelings we have the tower in the reverse they do not know what to expect what to feel but they are, they are just fearful uh, the fear of rejection is keep, keeping them distant but yes in terms of their major intentions now intention now is to still be a part of you if you give them an opportunity or if you just give them a hint this person will very much be back in terms of where this is going for now we have two cards we have the world which speaks about end of a cycle and starting of a new cycle and the cups so i feel someone you've been waiting on for a really time is finally maturing up okay and this person will show up for some of you around the 21st up till the 25th 26th you guys will get a message from someone who has been distant for a really long time so if you guys have already gotten that message in the month of maybe may or june but yes this person will will come again okay so yes in terms of advice advice with page of wands if this person approaches you you could either tell them uh, whether they should wait have expectations or they should not have expectations okay just be very clear and straightforward okay so that is all i have for scorpio if it resonated please do hit that like button let me know in the comment section you can also check my scorpio rest of the month reading on the playlist or the link given below and uh, please do not forget to hit the like button before you leave thank you so much moving on to pisces what's happening with two of swords you're, sit you're sitting in major indecision right now some of you guys feel confused regarding which part to take some of you it, it could be your partner some of you it could be work in your love life but you're majorly confused and you've been confused for a while now okay so yes in terms of your major challenge some of you guys do not want to face reality with the sun card it's about having to release someone in order to move forward okay this could be a relationship this could be expectations this could be your job okay in terms of the past energy past energy with ace of wands i think things were still better from what it is right now you guys could have met work things out if it's a work situation you guys were trying your best very focused doing what you could okay in terms of best case scenario what do we have king of cups whatever you're waiting on or whatever you're hoping or praying for that is going to go full circle with king of cups it's usually a card of success or uh, things going as, as as per your heart's desire or want okay in terms of going in the near future what do we have with two of wands but i still believe you're going to have options of choosing this or moving on to better but yes whatever you're waiting on is is, is coming back to you okay in form of that what's your person up to with the lovers card your person has been thinking a lot about you you're always on your mind this could also have been a very sexual relationship in the past you guys could have met physically things happened okay in terms of your energy towards you your energy towards you is to take that leap of faith and come forward okay in terms of uh, what do they have for you right now what are they bringing towards you four of pentacles this person is still quite fearful that uh, whatever they have is not going to be enough so that lack of mentality might still bother you but yes in terms of their overall intentions overall intentions with the tower card is to bring in that change is to bring in that shift okay they definitely want to break the silence in terms of their current feelings towards you with wheel of fortune they have been hot and cold sometimes they are very much there for you working things out treating you like everything is perfect and some days they are just go silent in terms of what do they want with you now five of cups they just want to have you back they are not ready to face the fact that this could possibly get over or just you know dissolve in terms of what they want to do 
in form of uh, the bond, the relationship, what do they exactly want with you? The strength in the reverse, I, I still believe this person will not want to completely give in to the commitment. Okay, they will take their time, but this person wants to see what you guys could have. So they might want to date you again. They won't date you directly to get married. They won't meet you and then propose and work things out. No, this person definitely wants to give this a second shot, but they will still take their time in order for commitment to happen. Okay, uh, in, the in the near future. that too. In terms of the major obstacle that's getting in the way of blockage, King of Pentacles, they are not quite ready for commitment. They do not feel stable enough. They, do, they are not mature enough for some of you. In terms of what's going to happen, what does the outcome look like? The Emperor card, this relationship can work out in a span of six weeks. Okay, so mostly around September, second week. Uh, I, not second week, or like around the first 10 days itself, things are going to work out. For some of you, this person could have been someone who's uh, slightly elder to you by three to four years. If not, there could have been some sort of difference. This could be financial. This could be um, in terms of status, in, in terms of religion. Okay. In form overall outcome. Overall outcome with the Hierophant card. This, this has been a learning chapter in your life. Okay. I mainly feel that most of you guys have learned a lot being a part of this connection. This person was majorly a learning experience, but a very intense connection. And the lesson was about letting go, okay, emotionally distancing yourself. So yes, one kind of message advice for my dear Pisces. Page of Pentacles. I believe right now you need to take steps forward because uh, this person has lots to deliver in form of messages, truth. And if you could tap onto their energy, I think this is going to be much easier. Okay, will they reach out anytime soon? With the judgment card, yes. Okay, I, I feel so. That is all I have for Pisces. If it resonated, please do hit the like button. Also, let me know in the uh, comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you so freaking much. Those who are uh, interested in checking the monthly reading of from now till the end of the month, go to the playlist or you could definitely... Uh, check on the link given below. Moving on to Cancer now. What's coming up for you for the next, let's take seven days. Overall energy. With Four of Cups, you guys are sitting in some sort of depressive energy. Um, just feeling left out or feeling like you're, you are a part of unrequited love. Uh, you're questioning a lot. Uh, you're, you might also be questioning the universe for, as to why you went through this. If, even if you have offers, if, even if you have suitors, you're not wanting to pay attention. Okay, Even in the past, you guys were quite holding back, but now you're feeling the effects, I would say. Okay, you're not feeling good. In terms of the major challenge, major challenge with Eight of Swords is, is, is the mental torture that you're going through. You feel caught up. You are unable to move on. You're unable to dissolve or let go of the situation. Okay, bottom card with death card, you tried, you really tried. Some of you, you could have felt that in the past few days, you were good. And again, out of nowhere, you feel a strong urge to be back in contact, to want to know the reasons why they could have left or they are not quite attentive to you. Okay, in form of the past energy, what do we have? Past energy, some of you guys could have reached out to them, but they did not message, they did not reciprocate. Okay. In terms of best case scenario, what do we have? But nine of pentacles, I think it's slowly but surely moving, uh, right, right, pushing you forward towards emotional independence. It's going to hurt you, but at the same time, it's going to teach you a very valuable lesson. Okay, in form of your current emotions and feelings. Right now, it's seven of wands. You're exhausted. I don't think you can continue waiting in this energy. You give out your current mood or your emotions. We have the temperature in the reverse, which means that you feel majorly indecisive. Okay, Sometimes you miss them and you feel like you should talk to them or you want them. You miss the old times and there are other times you feel done with it. This for some of you could have also been a very abusive relationship, but there is some attraction still left. Speaking about near outcome, what do we have? 
some of you guys might wait because i don't see you having option nor do you have control and you're still very much attached in terms of your person what's coming in the person with the empress and the eight of wands this person could have blocked you because they've been fo focusing more on their career okay some of you this 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 could have been uh, someone who has kids elsewhere and they feel like they have other priorities this relationship is not the major one okay in terms of what are they bringing in your life now with knight of wands I, I only see sexual energy okay i do not see a lot of uh, stability coming from this person's side yeah with five of swords yes they are wanting to let go of those mind games but i still see sexual energy okay in terms of what do they want with you page of swords i think they are stalking you but not exactly reaching out but they want to okay in terms of their energy towards you now yeah with the world card this person definitely wants to either fix it or completely end it they, they won't want to stay at crossroads anymore okay in terms of what do they want with you now what they want with you now is the ten of cups this person will definitely want to work it out okay if in the past they were still wanting to play games with you they have plans of talking to you about what if you, you you guys can fix this and get get back as a couple maybe if things go well you guys could move towards marriage they, they at least plan to speak about it the judgment card they will make that decision in the next 10 days for some of you and uh, yeah in terms of their current feelings with wheel of fortune this person has not been very much consistent with their approach with their feelings with you they've been on and off sometimes they you feel like this person was just around for sex clear and simple in terms of their headspace headspace with two of pentacles they've been juggling whether they should reach out or wait on you okay in terms of what they want with you now with queen of wands first off they want to see you in person okay i see a lot of sexual uh attraction that they feel towards you desire that they have in terms of which is going for now the king of pentacles it has the potential of coming back together i don't see any third party for now the only fear is you not being ready for them okay but yes in terms of the overall outcome yeah, with four of swords if even if they do not communicate in the next four days do not freak out i see them reaching out finally okay in terms of what i need to know about them with five of cups they also miss you just like you miss them and with seven of pentacles it's been going through a drag but yes it definitely will you know get better now okay with four of wands you guys still have um i would say possibility of ending up as a couple so that is all i have for the sign of cancer so if it resonated please do let me know in the comment section like the video every like counts you could also check my monthly reading uh, from now until the end of the month on the playlist or the link given below. Thank you so much and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.